Hello, everybody. My name is Cyclo Hunter, and welcome to today's stream. Well, I was gonna say stream. God damn it. Hello, everybody. My name is Cyclo Hunter, and uh, yeah, I haven't been doing some reacts from Overwatch for a while because I don't even think I did a react to. Did I do a react to season six? I don't remember. But welcome to the channel. We're doing Overwatch Two Season Seven react, and I want to explain something here. I'm excited about this one only because finally they give Moira a cool skin. Don't get me wrong, the Queen one's cool. Problem is, you got to do the watch uh, the league for that shit. This one possibly is free. I don't know because I haven't seen the thing. But I also never did the what was it? I never did the. Yeah, what it is? One Punch Man uh, collab. So I don't know if he was technically a free skin or you had to buy him. So I'm going to check that right now. But well, not really check that. We're going to react to the trailer of Overwatch 2's Rise of Darkness season. So go ahead and check it out. That's a wrong video. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I almost have any of that cool. Prepare yourselves for the decisive <sighs> battle. <laughs> what did they make Ryan an archangel? This is it. Let's show them how it's done. Whoa. Oh, that's sick. Huh? Power up. Fresh meat. Oh. <gasps> Wait, they mean they ain't for her chase? The vet skin. They made her annoyance! Oh, that's actually sick! That's actually a pretty cool skin for her. Oh yeah, and then the new control maps. You would think they would give us more flashpoints since we don't have any flashpoints right now. Huh? Okay, so the revealing Stormbirds rework too. So what is it? Okay, so I'm reloaded. Okay. New passive, stealth. She has her own passive now. Oh. That's fun. Well, I mean, Jinji, I think, technically has one, too. Yeah, he has one for his... If he gets an Elim, his uh, dash gets replenished. So what does stealth do? Does it just make it harder to find you? We work translocator. Durability virus. Okay, so I saw on Twitter, apparently virus does a tick attack. So in other words, it... I hate to say this because I've noticed they've been doing this a lot. Pretty much every rework they try doing with Moira, they give it to another hero. Because with Moira, they tried this too, to where they try making her uh, damage orb a lock-on ability to where technically the opponent, when they get hit by it, will deal a damage reduction. In other words, they won't deal uh, like the full damage. And I swear to God, if Virus is exactly that, I swear to fucking God, dude. Road Hog Creek work coming mid season. Okay. I don't know what to say about Hanzo's skin. I mean, it looks nice. Don't get me wrong. It's the witch. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You see what it says? 17 new Halloween skins in the shop and all new Battle Pass. Let's get something correct. Um, 
17? 17? Y'all guys worked on 17? I'm gonna I'm gonna count this. <laughs> when it comes out, I'm gonna count all these fucking skins. Cause I guarantee you, because they showed the Necromancer uh, Ramatra, that thing didn't get released in Halloween. That thing got released in mid season. So they're counting that on this 17. Uh I'm gonna call false advertisement, damn it. In our the only ghosts are the worries that haunt us. The fuck? Trick or treat. <sighs> In my cereal. Really? Do they just not have anything like good for soldier? I don't know. Terrible. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Eh. How Decent. That's cool. What reason have you to fear me? Hold up, no, no, no. Why that shit? Why that shit? I gotta look at the detail with this. Cause this works perfectly with her, actually. What reason have you to fear me? I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna hate if I have to actually pay for it though. Okay. We got we gotta go back because that's I think that's the end of this one. Um, I'm not excited that they brought back those two events with no changes. Um, here, I want to look at these guys again. That sucks. So, Alari gets a new skin. Why do they throw out bird skins during Halloween? They did it with Genji, too. I don't know, it just... I don't know, this looks weird. Is it supposed to be like, Nighthawk? Prepare yourself for the decisive. Uh, no, battle. god damn it. <laughs> Trying to pause, you motherfucker. Trying to pause. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Reinhardt looks fucking sick. <laughs> the, this is, I'm not even going to lie here. This is probably his best skin ever holy crap like hell i didn't know what they could do to like top the fucking demon the demon one but god this is a good this is a good one to top it that's actually a really good one damn damn that's really fucking good oh damn it i was trying to get a better look at what's her name well hold on can i like Alright, just letting you guys know that get Okay. That is actually a really good fucking skin for her. Not even gonna lie, like normally normally I don't like uh like anything they do with Far, because sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Like uh, Battle for Olympus, the Hades skin, I didn't understand it. I was like, why the fuck does she get this skin? Shouldn't she technically get the Zeus skin since second, or like Hermes? Because oh, who the fuck's flying? I don't know who flies in the Greek mythology. It just didn't make sense to me that Far got the Hades skin. But this one, this one makes sense because literally every fucking time you see an Arias, that motherfucker's in the air. So this is the perfect fucking skin I have seen ever. Like the only time you don't see the guy 
God, wait, does that mean? Holy shit, I just realized. They made for a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> if you play Diablo, you, the the lore of Diablo is that Anarius and Lilith, Moira skin, um, they made like the full world. So in other words, they are the mother and father of that world. Um, and yeah, so that mean that mean okay. I guess there's a thing with me and Farah. Nice. Ooh, dude, I wonder the special voice lines. Oh, dude, dude, there better be something with mother, with Moira. <laughs> dude, that'd be awesome. I really fell in love with Diablo 4. I really love the dark grittiness. I love that it was morbid as fuck. I love that I kept questioning if I do actually got this shit or not. Like, every outcome was always 50-50. It didn't feel like Destiny to where, like, every mission is always 100% complete. Or, hey, we successfully did it. Because even in Lightfall, they tried, they tried doing, like, the... They tried doing, like, the end game with Marvel with Lightfall. It just didn't work. It, it, it felt more like, no, oh, I killed the big bad guy! What? <laughs> Like, I don't know, it just, uh, it didn't really work for me on that one. I don't know what it was. Bungie, this year has been really falling off for uh, Destiny 2, so that's why I haven't really been dealing with it. Or I haven't been um doing a lot of stuff on it. New game mode, Trials of Sanctuary. <sighs> why not just make this the Halloween event? Am I wrong? Like, why not just make a new event every fucking season? Don't, don't get me wrong, like, I get that it's probably difficult to do that, but here's the thing. Billion dollar company, it is a year-round game, they can fucking do it. There we go. How much do we spend on skins every fucking season? $20 a fucking skin? Oh, that makes sense. That means they should have more money than fucking Bungie. Actually, that's actually true. So Trials of Sanctuary is the game mode, which it looks like it's just Junkenstein. So why not just make this the game mode? Am I wrong? Why, like, legit, why not just make this the game mode then? I, I think it would make more sense to just keep this as a next, like, Halloween game mode than to replay the fucking bullshit of last year's Junkenstein's Revenge, which has been around since Junkenstein's Revenge should just get deleted. In all honesty, I hate Junkenstein's Revenge. It is the most boring ass fucking game mode in all of PVE. It, it is just terrible. I would like them just to get rid of it. And then let's just go on from Junkenstein's Revenge and then just make a whole nother little story. Like, you guys have a full on year. Y'all aren't doing literally jack shit. So, might as well just do that. I mean, come on. Well, they gotta do other stuff. Literally, what the fuck have they been doing? <laughs> they, they've been working on new, new maps and stuff like that. Okay, then who's working on the free to play model right now, which is updating us with new shit? Like, don't get me wrong. Look. I'll say this, Fortnite does a way better job when it, well, no, that's a lie. Fortnite, I think, excels because of its creative maps and because people around the world can create maps. That's where Fortnite excels. Overwatch, Overwatch doesn't really have shit except, uh, well, it's this year round, I just throw this shit back out here. That, that's all Overwatch is at this point. And I really hate that. I wish we got something. And I do mean that. I wish we got fucking something. Because I believe even last year, I don't even think we had Winter Wonderland. All we had was just Christmas skins. And that was it. If that makes any sense. No, yeah, I think we did have Winter Wonderland. I just don't remember it because it was so goddamn boring. But yeah, it, it looks like it's the typical... Yeah, just killing shit. Okay, so I do want to point out that the Alari skin is not part of this event. So that means Alari is actually going to be a shop skin. So heads up there. 
Hammond. I didn't get a good look at Hammond. Oh, I know who he is. Oh. Why hit? Why him? Why not like Sigma or somebody? I, I it's the it's uh if I'm correct it's this guy. I don't remember. Um I, I don't remember his name. That's this is just a weird one. I don't know, that's a weird choice. I feel like I should have gotten someone else. Oh well. Power up your abilities. Hey, look! Some some resemblance of PVE. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm taking it this slow just so that we can see everything. Oh my god, look at that resemblance of PvE that they could have fucking used for PvE, but they decided to cancel PvE because literally nobody from the original team is there. Yay! <laughs> okay, I do. I don't. Stop. No. No, motherfucker. I do want to point this up. If I can get to it. Because if I skip, it just goes away. Yeah. So I was going to say, Roadhog skin doesn't really make sense for the event no more. Because they tried doing an alternative with it. Like, the Butcher doesn't have fresh meat and then some weird skull thing on his thing. I don't believe... I don't know. I think just that part just feels a little weird now. But eh, it's, that's that's me being nitpicky. I think it's still fine because I think it would be cool fighting the actual butcher in Overwatch. What? <laughs> Oh, you get a full view right here. Is she barefooted? That's gonna kill it for me if she's barefooted. I swear to fucking god, she's barefooted. Because, uh, look, I don't know who the fuck thought of this idea for the skins. Oh shit, she might be barefooted. Fuck! Look, man, I don't like feet. I don't like seeing the toes on the characters. I mean, it looks like she's wearing boots, but it's hard to fucking tell because that stupid thing's there. That's actually pretty sick. Justice rays on the heavens. That's pretty sick. All right. Um, I don't really care about everything else. Uh, I think with Sombra though. Yeah, let's actually look at Sombras again. Because her stuff was actually pretty interesting. I. I think. Okay, so I want to say this uh, real quick about this map. I feel like it's a pointless ass map. Reason because they they made it into like a cone type thing to where it's like a there's this other section that's there and then the point is on the other side. So then what's what's the point of that whole section then? Don't get me wrong, like yeah, you can go there and then reposition all that stuff. It just seems weird if that makes sense. Oh, they did it with Busan. Uh, yeah, but Busan, I mean, you can still fight there. It feels like with this one, everyone has to go to the point. It doesn't feel like teams will go straight down the middle. Whereas with this one, there is just a path straight down the middle. I don't know. I guess we have to see how it plays out. But I think, I think this map just somewhat sucks. For Samoa, this one right here in the volcano. Again, that's me being nitpicky. Okay, so... 
So she still has the hack ability. What is stealth? Why didn't you say like, what the fuck? It, I hate these things. Strange locator reworked. So this doesn't really tell us a lot because she still has the stealth. She still has, or stealth no longer an ability, is stealth just a passive to where she's out of combat, she automatically goes, which is so, that makes it a lot easier to play, what's her name? Um, virus? It's just the Moira thing. Hold up, did I see that right? Is that part of his rework or is that a thing? Okay, no, that was just some animation stuff. I like this skin, I just don't know how to actually feel about it. Don't get me wrong, I play Hanzo. Oh yeah. Okay, hold up, wait a minute, hold on, wait a fucking minute. No, 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 no. That's the worst Mercy skin I've ever seen, by the way. Um, real quick, real quick. So, Ash. Actually, that looks alright. I actually don't mind that. She's like a little puppet. I like that. Or a doll, I guess. Th this, this isn't a bad skin. I do like this skin. I think... I don't know. I have to see the full thing. Or I would have to see how Bob looks. If Bob looks sick, <clears throat> definite. Oh look, it's 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 the Christmas skin. It's the Christmas skin. That's literally the Christmas fucking skin. <laughs> Dude, why are we recoloring skins? Just this isn't new. <laughs> it's literally they changed all the ice parts to fucking coal to resemble its hell. But the problem is the fucking helm. It still looks like a snowflake. See, normally I say this to Bungie, because literally I was about to say, Bungie, y'all really need to fix your shit. <sighs> Blizzard! Correction. Overwatch. Fix your shit. Alright. For Mercy's Halloween skins, this is actually the worst one, in my opinion. If you compare it to her witch skins, which the witch skins are so much better. Nothing wrong with it, I'm just surprised they didn't do it sooner. <sighs> Look, I like the emo. I think what kills it is the mask. It just looks... Horny. It looks easy. It looks like I fucking drew it. That's what it looks like. It looks like a fan art. There you go. That one's in the battle pass. Why well, I know they never like soldier, so they're gonna put it in the battle pass. Fucking. What, is he just dead? What, 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 what's, what's the... Y'all just gave him fucking eyeliner and blue eyes. What, what, what's the... 
That's a new skin? Cool. Now hold up. Hold up. <laughs> this is Bob's Origins. <laughs> that one's a nice one. I, for Ramatra, that one's a nice one. They give him facial hair, everything. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be, but it looks funny. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't even see this. Lucio got... Wait, actually, hold on. Wait a minute. That's actually a pretty nice one. <laughs> Giving him like a little top hat and everything. That's actually not a bad one. Huh. I can fuck with that one. That one's a nice one. I missed that one. Oh, shit. I missed this one, too. Did they do more details on her eyes and shit? That actually looks nice on her. I like that. Man, it seems like they went all out for the Halloween skins. <gasps> it's not Lerona! It's not Lerona! Oh, dude, I swear to God, they call it that. That'd be sick. Or is it the Weeping Bride? Okay, let's explain something here. Uh, Junkenstein's Revenge. Get rid of it. Junkenstein's Revenge, Wrath of the Bride. Keep it, but give it some extra modes. Um, but honestly, they, they just need to let go of Junkenstein's Revenge. It is literally, if not the worst thing about this entire fucking display. That is such, such a beautiful skin, dude. Uh, I wish we could see more of it, because then that would make me, like, get more info on it, but. God, that's just, okay, I'll give him props. Um, I think this could be, I do think this could be their, uh, like, comeback, maybe? Maybe. Um. I don't know how to fully feel about it, really, because, uh, I mean, the skins could look phenomenal, but then here's the thing, and th this does play the factor. What's free? What's not free? What can we actually play to earn these rewards? We don't fucking know. So because of this, um, my hopes for it are not high. I am prepared to be disappointed because I'm pretty sure with the Lilith skin for Moira, that shit's not free. Um, you know what? Actually, let me search this real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Cause I guarantee you. Because if I remember correctly, I think my, I don't remember if he bought it or if he was just in the shop, but if they are just going to be in the shop, that that's where they're going to lose everybody. Like if all those skins are not free, they already lost. Because I believe, if anything, the only skin that would be free, and this is true, the only skin that would be free from that entire lineup would probably be Hammond. Hammond would probably be the only one that's free. Because I, if I remember the One Punch collab correctly, Soldier was free, and that skin looked terrible. <laughs> Same thing with the Genji. The Genji one just didn't. The Genji one didn't look right. Um. But yeah, uh, well, that's it for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this small little reaction to the whole. I don't want to show you what. Like, okay, it's the event looks awesome. It does. It looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. It looks like this could save Overwatch. Let's be for real here. 
17 of those new skins that just came out. Yes, some of them are on the battle pass, but I guarantee you a good majority of the ones, the good ones, all in the shop. The Genji one, the recolored, they're going to put that bitch in the shop and guess what? $20. I want to show this real quick, actually. Let me let me show this. Let me show y'all why I'm very disappointed about the Genji skin. I don't think I have the skin that I am referring to, but I'm going to show y'all what it was and why, again, don't get too hyped because it is what it is. So I might as well point it out now. This thing, if I do have this skin, I don't believe. No, I don't. Okay, so let me do this real quick. Filter. This is that new red skin. That's the sword for the new red skin. Genji skin is literally a recolor. Oh, I could buy it actually. <laughs> the skin is a recolor. That's what it is. It is, it, is a, it is a fucking recolor. That is why I am shitting on Genji's skin right now is because it is not a new skin. It is a recolor. It is what they did with Kiriko. Let's go to Kiriko real quick so y'all see what I'm talking about. So you go to Kiriko and you go just to her base. Well, I can't even go to her base. So give me a sec. Did not work with so look at this see this that's her skin that's her noble skin I don't know where this one pun man one is terrible tornado This is why I'm not impressed, and this is why I don't like it. Is because it is literally them just putting a twenty dollar price tag on a recolor, and I don't like it. By the way, I uh, just want to point that out. But thank you guys for watching, whether it was live recording either were or correction. The, just thank you guys for watching. I got used to saying my outro for streams. Um, we're probably gonna go live a little bit later today, but for now, that's it for me. Peace out, take care, have a great day, and I am out. Like, subscribe, share the video with all you guys, friends you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, bye.